Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, no, I haven't lost it. Yes, I did put up a part one of my staggered journal. I'm restarting it. <laughs> so, I said turn on the camera and let you watch. Um, I'm going to try to keep each part to one hour. Some may be less, it all depends. But, I've already folded some papers and I've got them stuck in here together for a couple of signatures. And I'm going to start putting some staggered pages in now. Just to give you an idea how I know the majority of you probably have been doing these for years. But for all of you newcomers who are just learning, let's just start with doing some staggering. And these are just some cheap envelopes that I got at Ollie's for 88 cents a pack. And I'm going to fold them in half. And I'm going to split right here. Let me get my smaller scissors out. And I'm not going to talk to you the whole time either. I'm going to do most of it to music. But I just wanted to give a little general introduction here of how I'm doing the staggered page journals, which happen to be huge sellers in my area. So, I have these two. Okay. Let's put some music on and get busy.
Okay, are you still here? Well, if you are, this is signature one, and it's 15 pages, but because it's two-sided, it turns out to be 30 pages. Um, this is a commission journal. I have made one for this lady's sister, and she asked me to make her one as well. And the first one that I showed you, I ran into some problems with some papers that I can't, I can't use in that journal. I can't sell it to her. So I'm starting all over. And um, like I said earlier, I'm waiting for some papers from Patty Lang. I will add to this as fold outs and flip ins and whatever else I can use it for. But they're really gorgeous, so I can't wait to get them. So anyway, I have finished this. I haven't decorated it. I do not decorate them until they're sewn in. That way I know basically how much area I have to work with. I always send a journal board with my um, commission journal so that whatever's on the pages, they can just put the board in underneath it and I have all this extra back here making skip lines. And I send it a ephemera pack. So I will do some light decorating in it toward the end, which might be a month. I don't know, <laughs> really. Um, I'm a little disheartened that it's starting this all over. But anyway, I put washi tape lines on it just to decorate this page. And this is a light tea dye paper. I have a book page. I have some um, scrapbook paper. And it's the night card stock of this paper. And then here's the front part of the envelope that I'll put some stuff in. This is green copy paper. It is not dyed. This is the green copy paper. And because I ran out of dyed paper in the other journal. So, um, this is the same scrapbook paper. And you pull it out this way. And then you can pull it this way. And you have all this journal spaces. All this journal spaces. Which there will be some stamping and stuff on some pages. Um, a book page, as I was saying back in my video, but you can't hear it for the music, is that use some pages you don't like as well as long as they follow the theme. Because if you don't, you're going to end up with a lot of book pages at the end that you don't like. And you don't want to use them. So just use them. Because they follow the theme. So this is that book page. I put a little writing uh, note page on the book page here. Same thing here, book page. Um, I will have tabs on these for pullouts when I do my decoration. And I did re-do this, and it will lay flat, and the lines will vanish eventually if, you know, put more weight in it. Okay, and the center is going to be a book page. The back is, you know, basically just copies of the front, just repeats, except for I did do this one here. And I think that's the only difference is I put that pull out in here. Make the back of the envelope, yeah. It's and on this book page that I glued together, I have it back here as a pullout. And I'll probably put some clear paper over this too, just for writing space. Um, and that's signature one, so I'm going to call this one finished. Well, not the journal, just the signature part of it. Um, for all you newbies, give it a try. It's not as hard as it looks. It just, you know, you have to make sure your cover comes out further than your expansions and so. Okay, I'll see you with part two really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.